Hi everybody, Tina here with Loving Life's Little Blessings and I'm going to do a quick card for you guys. I have everything already pre-cut and pre-stamped and so I'm going to do just a really quick video for you guys because I don't have a lot of time today. So I'm just starting with a piece of Whisper White cardstock and I've cut it at four and a quarter so it gives me this size card, okay? I'm going to zoom out a little tiny bit. Um, I didn't come up with this card design I saw it on Pinterest and I just I saw it and I really really wanted to make it uh, that's the baby that's why I don't have a lot of time tonight he's really fussy he's teething and he's not happy that I'm in my office so I saw it on Pinterest and I had to make it so I have a piece of Whisper White, I've cut it and folded it, and then I have a piece of Island Indigo, and I took a quarter inch off of it. So it's five and a quarter by four. Okay, I'm not gonna glue that down yet. Then I have a piece of Pool Party, which I took another quarter inch off. So lots of times that's what I do. I, I'll just take a quarter inch off my mats, and it seems to work out the best or sometimes I just eyeball it to see what looks you know okay I embossed the pool party with the honeycomb embossing folder that's this it's a very very deep embossed image when you use this it's late and so the lighting in here is not great okay then I have some of this Naturals car, this uh, ribbon. This is in the spring catalog. And I am going to use this. And then I'm also going to use a doily. And I've just folded the doily in half and gave it a good crease. Then I'm going to use some adhesive the tape runner works really good on these doilies they're kind of thin so um i was kind of nervous about what kind of adhesive to use but just the regular tape runner works fine on it then i'm going to take this piece and we're going to go right down at the top and i'm just going to use my tape runner and that is just I'm just putting a little tiny bit on there just so it'll stay flat I'm not really putting the adhesive on there for it to like hold it down really good because then I'm just gonna put tape on the back okay my kids have been into my tape it's like all okay let's try that again Okay, so then we have that piece. Next, we are going to go ahead, we can adhere this down now because I just wanted this piece wrapped around our blue. I'm putting quite a bit on there because it not only is it embossed, but then it has ribbon. So I really want the adhesive to hold it down. Next, I have this image. This is stamped from Hearts of Flutter. Here we go. It's this image right here. So I took crumb cake cardstock and then I stamped in crumb cake ink. And this piece is just going to go down right over this part. And then I have these two pieces, which are these three pieces, which these three pieces um, were stamped with the Hearts of Flutter, and then they were cut out with the Hearts of Flutter framelit set. Okay, and these are going to go like this. And I'm going to use some Baker's Twine. And I'm going to run it across like this, and then I'm going to make two bows. Now, the way I do my Baker Twine bows 
is I just make them separate and then I use a glue dot to hold them down. So when you come back, that's what we'll, what I'm going to uh, stop the tape and I'll put the bow on there and the, the twine and then I'll come back. Okay, hi guys. I wanted to show, I'm back. I wanted to show you guys, when I started doing this, I thought it might be in my best interest to show you guys how I put the twine on here. I thought this was going to be a quick video, but it's not, it's not turning out that way. Put those banner pieces on there. So what I did is I put a glue dot starting right here, and that's where I'm going to start my twine. And then, because I'm going to put this little bow that I made, I'm going to put that on top. I feel like that glue dot will be covered enough. So then I'm going to want my banner pieces like this. So I kind of need to lay them on here just to get a good idea of how where I want my string. To end. So I think I want it to end right there. So I'm just going to take another glue dot. and set it down right there stretch my twine whoops that's my phone my cell phone and then I'll stick my other bow right there so now I can trim that and then I can lay my banner pieces down and I think I'm just going to use a glue dot to do that. That way it will stick to the twine as well. And I'm just going to lift it up, place the twine kind of the glue dot on the twine. Oh, that didn't work well. Okay, so I'm just going to keep doing that and I'm going to put a glue dot on the top of the banner and on the bottom. Okay, so then I have another heart that I have stamped and then used my framelits to cut it out. And it's this one. And I'm just going to use a dimensional to pop it up. This is way more layers than I would normally do on a card. You guys know I'm pretty simple. But I just saw it on Pinterest and it's just one that I really wanted to make. So then I have this heart punch, this little mini one, and I'm just going to punch out three. And I'm just going to use glue dots, which will work out perfect because I need to get rid of these last three on here. That's the baby. His daddy's playing with him. And there we go. So there is my card. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And remember, celebrations have started, so every $50 you guys spend, you're getting a free celebration item. So um, come back tomorrow for the last video for this week, 
And um, I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I will talk to you later.